Hi there, my name is Joe, but for Sparkle, and today I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of how to import a voiceover as an MP3 into VideoScribe. The program I'm going to be using is one called Audacity, which is free. Um, I will add on our answers page how to install it. You'll install Audacity and also an extra program called Lame, which works with it, just so you can create an MP3 file. Now, it's a very easy program to use. Um, there are others available, but feel free to use Audacity if you want to. Okay, so here you have Audacity, you've got a nice big easy to fire and record button, um, very simple program to use, just hit record and then you can start recording. Now because I'm going to hit record on Audacity first, um, there's going to be a bit of latency in the preview, but it's easy to um, resolve uh, when you're recording, if you just want to get rid of something, you just drag and then delete and it's gone. So you can get rid of that quite easily and it's quite editable. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick voiceover over the Stickman template um, just so you can see how it works. So here we are and I'm just going to preview this so you can see that I'm recording. I can see the Stickman being drawn, a bit of morphing going on there. Um, so you can see it's quite easy to do and then when I'm ready to stop recording I just hit stop. Now um, as you can see here this is the sound file. So if I wanted to, I could just edit bits there. But what I'm going to do now is just export it. So I click File. I need to export it as an MP3 so VideoScribe can pick it up. Um, with Audacity, you need to install another package called Lame, but I'll put all the information there in Answers for you to do that. So I give the file a new name. How about new name? Okay, and then I save the file. So you get some extra information for their metadata up, but you don't really need to put that in, in Audacity, um, for what we're doing. And now all I want to do is I want to import the MP3 I've created. So I click on the mic icon, and then press the import button. Um, if you hover it, it tells you what it does. Okay, so in my Audacity folder, I've got here the saved voiceovers. So the one I renamed aptly as new name. Just importing that in and there you have it the file that I've just created as a voiceover mp3 is now available on the stickman template video scribe so if I play that back uh, if you have a listen um, you'll be able to hear the voiceover so here we are and I'm just gonna preview this so you can see that I'm recording I can see stickman hear. being drawn a bit of more going, going on there going away. Um, so that's how you record a voiceover and import it into VideoScribe using Audacity. Um, there are other options that you can use and other programs available for you to do that, but we hope this gives you a good running demonstration of how to do it. Thank you very much. Goodbye.